And Governor Mike DeWine and challenger Nan Whaley both agree that more needs to be done to improve the education for Ohio's children. Unlike DeWine, Whaley spoke to reporters afterwards. DeWine did not and has also refused to debate her. He has failed to deliver for Ohio kids. Democrat Nan Whaley, trailing in the polls to win election as governor, turned a conference about improving education in Ohio to attacking Governor Mike DeWine for failing to debate her about the issues facing the state. It is disrespectful, not necessarily to me, but to the voters. As schools look for normalcy following the pandemic. As governor, how would you address the incredible challenges that our children serving workforce faces? A top question for the candidates, how they intend to fix a glaring problem, education readiness. Last year, the Education Department found nearly two-thirds of Ohio kindergartners were not ready for the next grade. The first goal has to be to make sure that child, when they go to kindergarten, they're, they're up to the starting line. This is a really, really uh, personal decision for families. And so making sure that instead of government says fit into our mold, but instead we say we want to fit into yours family, I think is really, really important. DeWine says his administration required all child care providers to be star rated so parents know which daycares are performing at the highest level or lowest level. He told the crowd he plans to expand the eligibility for publicly funded child care by raising the poverty rate for those who qualify from 130 percent. I plan to increase this to at least 150 uh, percent in, in our next budget. We spoke to people who came to listen to the candidates. Many are parents who are concerned how the state is ensuring families can afford child care and increase worker salaries. I think the average child care worker in Ohio makes about 1071 an hour. Others say the state needs to do more to incentivize people to take these important jobs. The bonuses and things just really aren't working. With the election nearly a month away, both candidates are trying to give voters an easy choice on who to vote for. Without a debate, we get comments like this. He won't actually debate me on these issues. He was here an hour ago, and that's the closest we'll get to a debate. Now, today's event was organized by Vote for Ohio Kids. It's a nonpartisan group made up of educators and teachers and parents. Now, Whaley uh, afterwards uh, told us that the questions for today's event were pre-approved by the DeWitt administration. We talked to the organizers who say that's simply not the case. Reporting live outside the Statehouse, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.